Hey guys, we are going to do um, the second to last um, video here for the Kids Art Drawing series, and then we're gonna move on to some painting. Um, so we stopped our drawing at door. So we are gonna do the next three prompts, line, arrow, and circles. So let's have some fun with that, shall we? I hope as we get started with um, this video that y'all have done your homework and that you've done your chores and that you're minding mom and dad. Uh, let's see, I need a pen, here we go. Okay, so, and that you're doing all of that before you get started with your art. Let's see, line, L-I-N-E, arrow, a R R O W, I hope. My spelling is not the best. Okay, let's see. And circles. C I R C L E S. Circles. Now, going back to our first word, which is line, there's a lot of different ways that you could uh, take the word line and make a drawing from that. And I want you to. Feel free to draw the first thing that comes to mind that you're inspired to draw. For me, I think what comes to mind for me is a bunch of people or creatures standing in line, waiting in line. Um, if you've been to the shops with your one, one or both of your parents lately, you know there's a lot of time spending waiting in line, right? So what if we drew a line of feet of people? So what if we drew some feet? And then we do another pair of feet. Because they're all standing on line. So I'm just drawing this funny squiggly shape for the base of the foot and then I'm doing some circles for toes. Yes, humans have five toes. <laughs> These only have four, but you get the idea. So do this kind of squiggly funny shape. Then do another one. And then do some circles for toes. You could do animal feet and you could do paws. Something more like, can you see what I'm doing? Okay, so something more like, like a dog's paw. There's more like that. And they would have four. And you know, some, if it's a cat, maybe it would have claws. Some of them would have four there. So you could do, you know, you could make up an animal, but do some feet in a line. And then I'm going to color my feet. What color am I gonna make my feet? I kinda of wanna make them purple. And I kind of want to put like a sign that says start here. With a little arrow. Yeah, it reminds you of standing in line at the stores right now, right? And then if you've been standing in line at the stores, you know that there's usually like a piece of tape or something on the ground. So I'm gonna draw a line that goes underneath the feet, like that. And I'm gonna make that line red because it's usually red tape on the ground right now.
something like that. So that's that's what I get when I see the word lined. What do you get? I would love, you could just do a drawing of a page of different colors and shapes and sizes of lines. Do what feels right to you and I would love to see where you go with that. All right, next, arrow. Arrows are fun, arrows are easy. So I want you to start with a straight line. Then on one end of the line, I want you to draw a triangle. Yep. On the other end of the line, I want you to do some shapes that sort of look like funny shaped rectangles coming off of the other end of the straight line. And then do like at least two on one side and then on the other side in the same space, do two more. Like that. And then the fun thing to do is to do another arrow. This time have it going the other direction. You'll notice I do, if you haven't noticed but before now, I usually do uh, go over my lines twice. I intentionally have them be messy. I like the messy, sketchy look of my drawings. So for me, I don't want it to be perfect. I want it to be messy like that. Yeah. Then of course we can color it. We can use some of the markers. Let's use the blue one. These are, again, the Crayola metallic markers, so they're water soluble. So we've got our uh, paintbrush next to us. You, of course, can use, as we've said before, um, just a Q-tip and a cup of water if that's what you have. Use what you have. You don't need special tools to make art. And this is just a regular black pen. Mom and dad probably have one like it in their office or in the kitchen junk drawer. Do be careful about asking permission to use their stuff. Don't just go grab it. Maybe they want to do some drawings with you. You never know. Okay, so let's color the other one. So put the ink down there, and then we're going to blend it with a brush. Um, and I'm not being super careful about how messy it is, because, again, as we've said, I like the messy look. So arrows, how cute is that? Now, if you're an, uh, a kid who's handy with computers, some of these would be cute scanned into a computer and you could print them onto like little notes to your friends if you have permission to use a computer. Again, use it with permission. Okay, we're gonna move our little board here that we're using as a hard surface. We're gonna turn the page. Circles. Circles are fun, circles are easy, but circles are really hard to draw and be perfect at. So you could, of course, take something, like I have a spool of thread handy, and you could trace around that um, and to do perfect circles. I find it more fun to just draw circles. So they're not going to be perfect. They're not going to, they're going to be kind of funny. So I'm going to do a bunch of sketchy lines so that they're perfectly imperfect. And I'm going to do one inside the other. until I almost fill up the page like that. Then I'm going to make each one a different color. Use what you have. Play with your colors. Don't think about it too much. Just have some fun. Make some art. Do some drawings. Don't forget to uh, mind mom and dad and to make sure you do your chores and your schoolwork. That's important. And then you have time for art. We are going to be back in the next video with the final three prompts, and then we'll move on to some painting. For none of this do you need special tools or supplies. Use what you have. I'll give you options of what you can do. Always, of course, as I've said, do it with mom and dad's permission. And 
mind them and mind um, what they're saying and do your schoolwork. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you can. And go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. The link for all of the words, the download for all of the words is in the description below. And I will make sure it's there. Um, if you are just now seeing this video and you haven't seen it from day one, um, the playlist will be also linked in the description below. So go check it out. And that's it for today. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. See you later. Bye, guys.